change I want to see must first begin in me. I surrender so your world can be changed. The change I want to see must first begin. Oh, hallelujah, glory, glory, glory to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords here this morning. I'm rejoicing. I feel like I haven't been here in ages. <laughs> I feel like I haven't been here in years, amen. We know that things are just around the corner. I do want to thank each and every one of y'all, amen, for tuning in with me here on this podcast podcasting here today uh coming in with all the sapphires and the diamonds and uh just all the wonderfulness of the richness and the glory of his word amen and that's what i want to talk to you about about us serving an everlasting god you know christ gives us the invitation over and over and over in our lives you know to draw in to come in deeper that you know what there is no cost to draw close to the Lord and to receive of the Lord I know there's a price that we pay in the sense of our time in the sense of the things that we have to put aside come on now my son said mom I thought you would be finished already finish doing what you're supposed to do I said well I can't finish I can't even start until I finish doing what I need to do with you. <laughs> and I know that sounds kind of ridiculous. But really, you know, things kind of push you back. You feel like you've been pushed back. Today we've, we've been pushed back. Two hours, you know. Two hours we can't make up. You know, I could have went ahead and gone in on live. But there were still some other things that I would have had it done during that time. Come on now. I know when we have a set time, that that's the time that, you know what? Come rain, shine, snow, sleet, whatever that may be, that that's going to be the time. But when time is changing, now listen up church, when the time is changing, we got to change. And I believe that that's what the Lord of God is speaking to over his life and over our lives today and each and every one of us amen to be that witness unto the people you know god says to give give ear and come give ear and come give ear who give ear unto the lord give ear unto him that we may come that we may hear that my soul may live you know i was thinking about some things here this morning and I said, sometimes a lot of our role model, I don't want to say hero because hero, our hero is Jesus. But sometimes it's our frame of mind and how we are thinking that we frame our mind in the slum. We frame our mind where we may feel closed off, you know. Uh, sometimes we have to, to change the order of things to get an outlook, to get a, a, a new review, to get a, a preview, you know, of what the Lord is doing and where he wants to take us and, and where we, you know, where he wants to lead us. Where you know, we're also he's putting in our heart to want to go, you know. I could sit in the car all day and, and, and have it in drive. But it's literally until I, I put that, turn the car on, you know, first of all. And um, and put it in gear in order to go. You know, and I believe that's the process in our life where God is showing us. He's saying we have to train, change our mindset on, on, a, on a place that's maybe uh, rough. And, and stuck and and maybe we were there at one time 
It was a place of safe haven. It was a place of of a, of a covering. And even maybe the power of God moved in. Maybe we felt something special. But you know, God is saying that we have to move in our areas of our thinking. You know, we got to move. We got to open up our curtains. You know, I passed by a house right now and, and just really bring a rem remembrance of the new year. Of the new year. Come on, church. I'm, I'm preaching now. Sometimes it doesn't look too pretty. You know, we had the Christmas tree. We had this. We had that. But really right now. When I pass by that house, everything that had to do with that house, you know what? It was uh, totally, uh, totally cut. I mean, all the trees were cut. Everything was cut, you know, just to a bear. And, and everything kind of looked dry and, and, and ugly, you know. And, and you could tell where, where, where it needed, now it needs paint. You know, it needs washing, uh, and it needs cleaning, you know, and sometimes we can, we can cover a lot of place with some stuff, but you know what? It needs some spring cleaning. There's some areas that need some dust and there's some areas that, you know what? We need to do away with the old and, 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 and put in some new stuff, you know, sometimes, uh, I, I even remind myself church, uh, you know, you get into a certain season and, and you find yourself wearing, you know, the same clothes. You wear the same clothes. Why? Because you washed them and because they're freshly washed, you have them on top of the tile, you know, of all the pile and of all the clothes and, and that's in your closet. And, and you find yourself wearing the same thing, the same thing. You know, hey, if you already had those shoes two or three years, I mean, you, you pretty much probably already wore them. It's time to, to put on a, a new pair of shoes. And you got the new pair of shoes are right there, you know. But you still want to keep on putting on the old shoes. I remember my brother saying, you know, uh, he was real particular. He got new shoes and he said, oh, I don't want to wear these when I cut the yard, but Sure enough, guess what happens? You know, you get busy and they get comfortable. And before you know it, you're cutting the grass in your new shoes. And then your new shoes aren't new no more. You know, and that's why you were saving the old ones. The old ones that had the holes. The old ones that, you know, can put up with some stuff. But when it came down to it, when it was time to put on the old shoes, to put on the new shoes, you didn't want to. But yet, they're sitting up in the closet. Come on, I'm, I'm really, you know, shedding the light and just being truthful a lot on the matter, you know. And that's what I'm sharing with you here today. You know, we need to give ear. Give ear and come. Come unto the Lord that we can hear of the Lord and, and the part of your life where you're so at is that can change. You know, God wants to summon us to change us that our world may be changed. You know, and I believe that is that song, like I was playing, you know, I want to see the change in me. I want to see the change in me. I want to see the change in me. Change me, oh Lord. You know, and when there's that awesome change that begins to happen in our life, you know, nations, people will begin to summon to you. People that you did not know, you begin to, to grow in your atmosphere. Come on now. You begin to spread out. You begin to branch. You know, let me tell you this way. You begin to love. You begin to express yourself because you don't do things for yourself. You're doing those things for Christ. You're doing those things unto the Lord. Because as you would want somebody to do those things unto you. Come on now. You want to express yourself and begin to give out of yourself 
unto peoples, unto the nation, as we begin to cry out. You know, Sister Tina was trying to put um, uh, Cruzando Fronteras uh, out there, so that way those who wanted to give donations or anything like that, or, or bless me, uh, those who know, you know, was was my birthday yesterday, and I was thinking, you know, I'm going to put this out there and, uh, and, you know, see who wants to bless me. And those who bless me through Cruzano Fronteras, you know what? I'm going to use that to go ahead to continually to do the work of the ministry. That is my heart's desire. You know, I've been praying and asking more of the Lord to use me and and I'm beginning to get into new circles of where I'm at, even in the church that I'm, uh, that I fellowship in and, uh, and wanting to, uh, begin to, you know, get more stabilized in some different areas because I believe that, that the ministry is doing the work of the ministry. You know, God says, I'm not taking something away. I'm giving something more to you. Come on now. And so as I continually to be faithful where God has me, you know, we have the store, the store is there, the logo shirts, you know, I'm creating more of the shirts, amen, and uh, and as more as I finish on that, then I'm able to post it, okay, and so that's where uh, then, you know, I can publicize it, so that way, hey, that may be something that, that you would want to wear, you know, I'm sharing this with you because this is the growth. This is the growth. You know, I may have had some cutbacks, but with those cutbacks, you know, the Spirit of God will begin to give fruit, you know, where God has me. Amen. Um, it's Cruzando Frontera slash store. If you look it up, you will see even under news, there's some little things that I have on there. I'm really debating if, if uh, I have a whole area of all different types of things that I can put in there. But I'm really wanting to be led by Lord of everything that uh, that I put in there. And as the Lord leads, I know that he will guide me to make those uh, godly decisions as well. You know, I'm sharing this church um, because as I begin to uh, do a little bit more uh, ministering and teaching, you know, I've been asking the Lord to go deeper. And in my studies of Israel, of Israel, uh, I began to study uh, a little bit there of Jerusalem, and now my heart is is wanting to visit, is wanting to visit uh, there Israel. Now the trip that they have, it's uh, almost I want to say like two thousand dollars. So we're looking at maybe close to three thousand dollars for that trip. And uh, Sister Tina, if she goes, they have an itinerary. To be in the midst of the prophets. Amen. So that would be another blessing. If the Lord chooses to open the door for me to do that. And also to be baptized in the Jordan. I mean to me that is so 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 awesome. So if you see the post up. Um, about Cruzando Fronteras. I will be putting that out there more. I believe that the trip would be wonderful. And it would be something that will be useful to the ministry. Uh, being able to do more videoing and uh, and sharing the posts and sharing the gospel and really having that uh, encounter with one on one where Jesus walked and where Jesus wept and where Jesus was baptized and just the places of spaces and circles. Amen. And I want to share with you as well as I want to be ever so thankful in advance. I mean, with whatever that God puts into your heart to give into this ministry, to see the word. I would still be doing the podcasting as the Lord allows. Amen. And uh, because I can take uh, this podcasting with me everywhere that I go, that's the reason why I really believe that the Lord has granted me uh, the grace. Amen. I want to thank him. And I want to thank y'all as well, but my heart is so ever so thankful and grateful, you know, with the family, with my husband, uh, with the ministry, with the church, uh, with the giftings that God has given to me. And I know that just as he has rained down 
and poured upon my life. I really believe as as you do unto others, God will do unto you. And so I don't know what miracle you are believing for, but as you stand with me here today, you will be standing even with Israel uh, allowing this word to go out. How many of y'all would want to be with me to share this gift of sharing the gospel there? I want to share with you that there in the in the midst of uh, the deadline that will be in Israel. Uh, now the deadline is in June. So I don't know how soon the monies have to be in and everything. I'm, I'm going to make go ahead and make more contact. Uh, Sister Tina is still wanting to do a, to do a lot of things. Uh, getting to know and to be with the prophets. They've already started the school of the prophets. And I'm wanting also to, to be involved in that. So listen, church. God is saying, listen, listen, listen and learn of me. Eat what is good and your soul will delight in these riches. So even here today, as I have extended even the hand of, of Jesus to work upon our lives, you know, I want him to change our lives. That as we begin to give the ear, there is an encounter that we come with him, that we hear of him. And this is of our soul that we may live. He says, I will make, he will make an everlasting covenant with you that my faithful love promised to David. I believe that whatever promises that God has put even into your life, that God is able to complete the promise over your life. Maybe you felt abandoned during these times or during this season, even in your life. But I am saying that God can work those miracles as he has worked those miracles even in my life. He said we should not count those things to be as little. Amen. But count those things to know, to be assured that God is faithful and God is not finished with you yet. So God bless you, church. Uh, we're going to try to do as much as we can do even here today. Amen. Thank you uh, for your love. And you're and celebrating with me, amen, even in this season. God bless you, church. Amen.